Let's do one more example of the balancing of a redox reaction. Now, some redox reactions can be a little trickier to balance. For an example of one of these, we want to look at what's called a disproportionation reaction. And it's named that because a single element on the reactant side is both oxidized and reduced. Now, in reality, one atom of the element's oxidized, while a different atom of the same element is reduced. The following disproportionation reaction can be balanced using the previous methods outlined and some persistence. So here's a, an example of a disproportionation reaction that we want to balance in basic solution. Now recall what we're going to do is go ahead and try to balance it in acidic solution and then fix it at the end by adding hydroxides. In any event, we, we want to follow the rules we did before. So the first thing we're going to do is assign oxidation numbers to each atom and identify what is oxidized and what is reduced. So here's the equation that we're given. The oxidation number of chlorine, the element, would be zero on the left of each chlorine in that chlorine molecule would be zero. Chloride on the right would have a minus one oxidation number. The chlorate ion would have minus two for each oxygen. So the chlorine there actually has an oxidation number of plus five in that ion. Now, if we look at what's oxidized, it appears that chlorine on the left goes from an oxidation number of zero to plus five on the right. So that's an oxidation. But at the same time, chlorine on the left seems to be reduced to chloride ion, chloride having the minus one oxidation number on the right. So you, you note that a single chlorine molecule is both oxidized and reduced. Thus, we call this a disproportionation reaction. Now, in reality, of course, one of the two atoms of chlorine in Cl2 is oxidized and the other is reduced. So let's just keep going here with our normal uh, order of operations for balancing redox reactions. So we'll split the reaction into two half reactions. For our oxidation half reaction, we'll have chlorine, zero oxidation number, going to chlorate with the plus five oxidation number. For the reduction half reaction, we'll have our chlorine molecule, zero oxidation number, going to chloride, minus one oxidation number. Well, clearly, we had no choice at this point but to use Cl2, the molecule chlorine, twice, once in each half reaction. It's the only way we can keep going. So we seem to just introduce a, a chlorine molecule at will here. This is the only way we could keep going in the balancing of this redox reaction. So what's our next step? Well, remember, once we get the two half reactions written, we're going to balance each of them separately according to mass and charge. So let's balance each half reaction according to mass. And as before, we'll show the new changes in pink. So for the oxidation half reaction that we wrote previously, we simply just put a two in front of the chlorate ion to balance the chlorines. We then have a problem with oxygens on the right and no oxygens on the left. And recall, we fix this by adding six waters, which would obligate us to add 12 hydrogen ions on the right. And again, recall that we're balancing this ultimately in basic solution, but the strategy is to balance it first in acidic solution and then fix it at the end. For the reduction half reaction, we simply need to put a two in front of the chloride to balance that half reaction according to mass. Now we need to balance each half reaction according to charge. And remember, we can only do this by adding electrons to one side of the equation or the other. So the oxidation half reaction, 
now written in all black font here because these changes that we made up here are now permanent. And we're going to add 10 electrons to the right in order to get the charges to balance because on the left of the arrow, we have no charges from the water, no charges from the chlorine. On the right of the arrow, we have two minuses from the chlorates, 12 pluses from the hydrogen ions, which leaves a overall charge of plus 10, which we need to get down to zero to balance it with the other side. So we'll add 10 electrons. For the reduction half reaction, we can simply take care of the charge balance by adding two electrons to the left of the arrow. Now at this point, remember, we need to make sure that the number of electrons lost in the oxidation number, oxidation uh, half reaction, excuse me, equals the number gained in the reduction half reaction. And we can do that here by simply multiplying the reduction half reaction through by a factor of five. So let's do that. We'll rewrite the reduction half reaction here, and then we'll multiply it through by a factor of five. That's multiplying both the left and the right. If we do that, we'd end up with a reduction half reaction that looks like this. Five chlorine molecules plus 10 electrons going to 10 chloride ions. We'll rewrite the oxidation half reaction we had already decided on up here. And now we're getting close because we have an oxidation half reaction, reduction half reaction. Each one of these are balanced separately according to mass and charge. And the number of electrons lost in the oxidation half reaction now equals the number gained in the reduction half reaction. Now all that's left is to combine these two half reactions back together again, add them together. So we add everything on the left of the arrows, water, chlorine, uh, five chlorines, 10 electrons, and the right of the arrow, two chlorates, 12 hydrogen ions, 10 electrons, and 10 chloride ions. And you notice an easy fix here is of course we're going to cancel out the 10 electrons on each side. We'll combine the chlorine molecules and get six chlorine molecules. So we'll rewrite this equation as six water molecules plus six chlorine molecules going to two chlorate ions plus 12 hydrogen ions plus 10 chlorides. We can check to make sure this is balanced according to mass and charge. 12 hydrogens on the left, 12 on the right, six oxygens on the left, six oxygens on the right, 12 chlorines on the left, two chlorines plus 10 chlorines on the right. Mass balance is okay. Charge balance, zero from the water, zero from the chlorine molecules, zero charge on the left, two times a minus one, plus 12 times plus one, plus 10 times minus one add up, adds up to zero on the right. So the charge balance is okay. Now finally, we need to fix this so that it's in basic solution. And remember, we'll do that by adding hydroxide ions to both sides of the reaction to react with NEH plus to form water. So here's our balanced redox reaction, our disproportionation reaction in acidic solution. We'll add 12 hydroxides on the right to react with those 12 hydrogen ions. And of course, we need to add 12 hydroxides to the left because whatever we do to one side, we need to do to the other. Now, if we do that, the hydrogen ions and hydroxides, of course, will react to form 12 water molecules. We can rewrite this equation now as 12 hydroxides plus six waters plus six chlorine molecules going to two chlorate ions plus our 12 waters plus 10 chlorides. We can simplify by getting rid of the six waters on the left and six of the waters on the right. 
And now we have our final version of this equation, 12 hydroxides plus six chlorine molecules going to two chloride ions plus six waters plus 10 chloride ions. And once again, we need to make sure that this is balanced according to mass and charge. 12 oxygens on the left, six plus six on the right, 12 hydrogens on the left, 12 hydrogens on the right, 12 chlorines on the left, two plus 10 chlorines on the right. Mass balance is fine. Charge balance would be 12 times minus one on the left plus zero from the chlorines, gives a minus 12 charge on the left. On the right, we have two times a minus one from the chlorate. We have zero contribution from the water. We have 10 minus ones from the chloride ions, which gives a total charge of minus 12, which matches the minus 12 on the left. So the charge balance is okay. Now, one more thing for this particular example, if you haven't noticed, we could actually divide through here by a factor of two to simplify the coefficients because they're all multiples of two. So if we divide the final equation through by two, our final answer would look like six hydroxides plus three chlorine molecules going to a chlorate ion, three waters and five chlorides. And if you wanted to be really paranoid about this, you could check this again for mass and charge balance, six oxygens on the left, three plus three on the right, six hydrogens on the left, six hydrogens on the right, six chlorines on the left, one plus five chlorines on the right. So the mass balance is okay. The charge balance would be six times a minus one plus zero on the left for a minus six charge. On the right, it would be minus one from the chlorate plus zero plus five times a minus one from the chlorides or a minus six charge on the right. So this is the balanced disproportionation reaction of chloride in basic solution.